Oh, oh, green oh. Scene viewers. It's been a week oh, and I don't know what's happening because we I started have no clue in the what's middle happening of a either. fucking level. Oh, we're underground for some reason. I don't know. I'm just throwing. I'm just. I'm just slashing my sword in random directions. By Honestly. the way, I really like that you make your part shorter than everyone else, Brian. You're welcome. I wasn't me being <laughs> I... sarcastic. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I mean, I care. I want to go to bed too. <laughs> So, you know, not completely a selfish action, but selfless. I, I try not to make mine long, but I also try not to make the series 87 parts, and it's a hard balancing act. Yeah, no. <laughs> and also, I wouldn't cut a part in the middle of a level. <laughs> <laughs> but these the levels are so You oh, literally could have ended it right here, where you yeah. paused right there. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, nope, combat! Let's go! <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing. Brian, I no, Ariel, probably... what happened was Brian got scared. <laughs> he got scared <laughs> it's while... It's so spooky! <laughs> he got scared while editing, so he just ended it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too dark! It's too dark! <laughs> but the, the actual... I mean, that was the actual explanation, but a supporting explanation... <laughs> Uh, would be, uh, so my capture card does this weird thing where I, I guess in order to not have corrupted footage, after mm, 20 minutes or so, it just stops and, and makes a new file and continues recording to that file. So each recording session, whether I stop the capture card or not, has, like, um, files in chunks. So uh, you usually... Like not buy a cheap capture card? Or also, uh, also, I know this is this is so so very difficult for you. You can either record in smaller chunks and edit them together, or you can get a better fucking thing. <laughs> okay, uh, two more puddles, um, assholes. First of all, <laughs> there's nothing stopping me from recording them together. I'm just a lazy bitch. That's the first thing, <laughs> or editing them. Yeah. And, uh, the second thing is, with all the problems you guys keep telling me about your capture card shit... My like, capture card on? is fine. It's fraps that never fucking worked. And I haven't complained about my capture card. No, because we, we got was, good ones. <laughs> the only thing I ever complained about was when I forgot to reset my saturation settings so the game looked bad. And your oh. data got corrupted, but I think that's partly that because the power went out. That wasn't the capture card, though. Oh no, Ariel, it was two different things. Yeah. One, it, it exported improperly and got corrupted. And the other time was when the power went out. Yeah. Oh. Uh, still, I, I, uh, I'm a cheap bastard, so. <laughs> and also it's a lazy like... bastard, because... What the what fuck the was fuck? that? I, um... That was, uh... That was an edit. Yeah. Wait a minute. It was a uh, dubstep. Hold on. <laughs> Why do no. you need to use a capture card if you're recording on your PC? Um, because, uh... Well, I mean, are there any free Windows, like... Yes. Hey, hey, remember how we recorded papers, please? And I said I was experimenting with a, a free version of a software. Um, well, yeah, I, I guess I remember that. Um, but, uh, uh, this is, uh, mm, oh, look, look over there. Why does the dog it's, talk? He's a yeah, robot dog. Let's pay attention to that. <laughs> no, let's not pay attention to that. I want to tell my story. My story where I was the god of chaos and destruction. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my Actually, god, we're only four minutes into this part. I thought it was halfway done. Nope. <laughs> so, so, we were playing a choir. Not a choir, a choir. <laughs> a board game where your point is to create businesses and buy up businesses until you have the most money because you're the 1%. Whatever. Um, so... I know, I've played it once before, but this was a different version where it was fucking huge. Like, there was a hundred spaces on the board instead of, like, you know, 40 or 50, whatever the original one is. Um, 
so you draw tiles kind of like Scrabble, and that determines where you could put the tiles. And if you put tiles that touch each other, that starts a company. And the company gets bigger by adding more tiles, so it's like an amoeba effect, alright? That's the basic mechanics of the game that you need to get started. So, we had we just had a gaming weekend with some of my LARP people. Like an actual tabletop gaming. Well, not even tabletop. Board games, card game weekends. We played a shitload of shit. But, this one in particular. I'm like, alright, I learned from last time, the first time I played this, that if you don't go in hard right away, you will lose. So the first thing I did is I bought an expensive- I started an expensive company, went all in, and I'm like... Then I proceeded to only draw things in a completely different part of the board, but they were all touching each other. So that's great if I had anything there. And then someone started a company that I had things that could touch. And I was like, okay, alright, okay. So, when it comes to me, I'm going to buy shares so that I can be the secondary. So, um, what'll happen is when I put all these tiles down, it'll get worth a lot of money, and then we'll start absorbing other companies and mergers. But before it got to me, somebody else bought the shares of that company. So there were none left, and I was like, okay, alright, alright, fine, fine! Do you want to play? This is how we're going to play. So I turned turned to my one friend next to me, because she had another company right there that I was saying gentle to, and I was planning to build that one, the first one up and eat hers. So I looked at her, and I went in, and I'm like, look, I have all the tiles around that company. I am going to put it, I'm going to buy stocks and make it fucking huge and consume everything. And she's like, as long as I have a majority share. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> so. Then I ate... I did play the things and ate the first company. And at this point... Because at this point, I had a plan. So I was getting really, like, nervous and anxious because I'd also had caffeine and had become time itself. And could feel myself <laughs> aging while I was waiting for everyone else to do their turns. <laughs> um... <laughs> That, that's- I'm technically not supposed to have energy drinks with caffeine, but how else am I going to play a, a board game until, like, midnight? How else am I going to be a Wall Street mogul? So, so it gets by, and, you know, the other player's like, ha ha, yeah, you think you're- you think that's going to be enough? And I'm like, I said I had a plan. <laughs> so the next- next I start doing, and this is what threw them off, and this is why I became the god of chaos and destruction, is- I built up, I put a piece on a company that I had very few stocks in. And they were like, why'd you do that? And I'm like, I'm bringing chaos and destruction. <laughs> and they were like, T -t okay, so that I was doing that. What are you, what, what Brian? <laughs> <laughs> this is a rare behind the scenes look at the Pixelcom squad. <laughs> The love of uh, I hope God. you enjoyed your backstage pass. Go on, Ariel. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, I start doing that because my plan, and it takes them a very long time to figure this out, is to buy stocks and everything before I eat it. Because when you eat it, it's a buyout. And you can sell the stocks for more money if the company is bigger when it gets eaten. Too edgy, five me. Um, so, but nobody figured that out right away, so they're like, oh, well, why are you making my company bigger? And I'm like, yeah, you know, chaos and destruction. <laughs> and then I started consuming. <laughs> and it spread like a virus. Because it ate the next biggest company. Because I made sure to, I had to shit planned out five different ways, like 12 turns in advance. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, again, I became time. Um, right. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, so we have eaten the next biggest company. We are now too big to be eaten by other companies. Which means we are permanent, and therefore, we cannot lose this company. So, that allowed me to focus on building up the smaller ones and eating them. <laughs> 
with me at one point being like, hey, hey, put a tile, um, put a tile here to my, the friend that I am unofficially allianced with. Because again, this game is not meant to be cooperative. Um, <laughs> being like, alright, put a tile here, make a company, I'm going to eat it next turn, and you'll get the buyout money. And she's like, okay. So it, it exists. And the other people at the term are like, oh, oh, wow, okay, a new company. All right, we'll, we'll buy stocks of that. And then I eat it because we were right next to each other in terms of turns. And they're like, oh, what was that for? And it's like, man, you are not even on my level. <laughs> I spread. Literally, I wish we had taken a picture because it was literally Plague Inc. style spreading. Like a spider web out. <laughs> absorbing everything else. Until the point where, yes, we were the only company left. <laughs> we were the only company left. It's the end. <laughs> so she won first, and I won second. Because nobody figured out that I was making things big just to liquefy my assets before they got eaten. And um, they also didn't, weren't, mostly they just weren't paying attention and thinking shit through. Because, uh, I was like, I was at one point, there was another one that was very close to becoming permanent. And I'm like, no, I need to, I was doing the math and I'm like, is it more beneficial if it stays there or if it doesn't stay there? And I, I looked at it and I'm like, well, the only people who have shares in it are my partner and the two people that I don't want to win. But she's going to probably win anyway because of how much we've spread and consumed all. So, I decided it was more beneficial to me if I ate them now so that they couldn't get big enough to be permanent and get more money. So I did. However, someone was a little too stupid to figure that out. Or, because that's what I was planning on doing. And somebody literally did it for me. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, you kind of screwed yourself over, but that's fine. That's fine. I, I wrought destruction. I spread out from a central point. I ate everything like the amoeba that my company was, except it wasn't technically my company. And I am now the god of chaos and destruction. So did you win? <laughs> technically, I got second, because remember, part of the deal was that she had to have the majority. So the Chaos and Destruction company, she would get more money at the end than I would. Well, why didn't you strategize a double cross somewhere in there? <laughs> because I'm not about that life, one. And two, it wasn't about the winning. It was about the Chaos and Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I, I feel like I, I, I currently understand your priorities a little better. <laughs> to be fair, so most of them had played the game before, except for the person I allied with, which is part of why she was totally fine with me being like, hey, hey, put that there, and then you do this, and it'll benefit you. Um, and the other ones were just foolish enough to think that I wouldn't go all out right away. <laughs> or rather... Now, I don't want to sound like an arrogant dick, but may not have been on my level of planning. Let's put- let's word it that way. Not on my level of foresight with 17 different plans, uh, 12 turns in advance. <laughs> I, I mean, this is, like, next level Monopoly. They should- they should really have been ready. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, no, it was- I wish I had the visual of it spreading out like a cancer. Because that's what makes it great. And also that nobody figured out what I was doing until I flat out spelled it out for them. It's not just about making my company bigger. It's about getting the payout from it. <laughs> from It's about getting the payout because I bought stocks and everything I could and then ate them. Ate the companies. So then my stocks were worth however much money I made the company before by making it bigger before I ate it. <laughs> can this can this be applied to actual like 
like financing. I feel shit. like, unfortunately, no, you can't just eat oh. your competitors and make them part of you. At least not literally. Corporate mergers <laughs> are, in fact, a thing, but you don't just amoeba everything around you. <laughs> And that is the most apt description for how mergers work. Because you, <laughs> if your tiles, two separate companies' tiles have one tile in between them, the bigger company absorbs the smaller company. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, okay. That's new. <laughs> yeah. That's a different way of doing business. Yeah. That I'm not sure would be a bad, uh, bad thing. <laughs> Oh no, it's it's one hundred percent a bad thing. I literally <laughs> Wait, ate every mean? other that's, business. This sounds super survival of the fittest. If it's good enough for natural selection, it's good enough for the economy. <laughs> that's one of the things is I enjoy the game as a concept, but it's also shit that actually happens. Cause they're like, man, you know that's insider trading. I'm like, yes, let's literally what I'm doing is insider trading. I'm not hiding it. You guys just haven't <laughs> noticed or tried to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, when you do try to stop me, all you do is just change what my priority is next turn. Because I already have things for everything except one spot in the map, which is the only place they were getting any leeway. Why are you, like... What is, what is happening? Okay, alright. Um, so, during your um, strategic spiel, a lot of story shit happened. <laughs> well, yeah. story shit for Metal Gear Rising, so... Um, this guy, um, I'm gonna call him Chapo McSword. Uh, he, uh, he's like, oh, all these people you're, that you're eviscerating, they're people too, and they got families and shit. And Ryan's like, no, they made their choice, they're bad. And he's like, do you know that? They, they might have been, like, manipulated, brainwashed. And he's like, oh no! So, you know, he's having kind of a crisis. Because of that, he's letting people just kick his ass. Because that makes sense. <laughs> this is not how things work! Oh no, he's a super magnet cyborg thing. But yeah, you're right, it's not how things work. <laughs> also, how is he alive? Uh, he's a robot man. And how does he have a heart if his chest splits into quarters? I'm pretty sure he doesn't, honestly. I think the only organic part is his, is his, his face. Not even all of it, just like the bottom. Okay, alright, well how is blood circulating to stop his face from becoming just a corpse and decaying? Oh, it's like super cyborg blood. Or the stuff, brain stuff. still functioning. <laughs> it's like, it's a computer chip brain. Oh. Kill or be killed, Jack. Oh yeah, and all these people get like super ph philosophical and it doesn't mean a goddamn thing, so don't even call it yeah. attention. <laughs> Yo, but why are you gonna kill Daft Punk? Um, uh, cause, uh, Get Lucky is, um, an overrated fucking song. And, uh, find mm. the IRL. <laughs> okay. 